Welcome back to your part two. We are going to look at new love in this one. Welcome back, Libras. It's a little bit of a late night video. They're going to be uploading very, very slowly to YouTube due to the heat wave. I noticed that the internet just tends to slow down quite a bit. Welcome back. And oh, already wants to talk. Divine timing, true love, right path. That's the order it was in. Divine timing, the right path. And the right path card is in the center with her walking. And then we have true love. It says a deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction, possibly happening now, this beautiful opening of a heart. I also saw on the bottom of the deck earlier with this particular oracle that the three of swords was hanging out at the bottom of the deck. And that one is kind of like a broken heart. And this one that you have in this particular oracle is an intact one. So you could feel like those wrongs in the past are being righted in the current by a new person. So we have true love, the right path, beautiful card. I knew that there was going to be some type of confirmation tonight. I just didn't know when it was going to come. 111 just passed to on the monitor. You could be seeing those uh, insignias or angel numbers, totems. It says love is a beautiful journey and you're on the right path. Many of you are set back on it. If you feel like you were off of it for a while or things felt wonky or discombobulated or boggled even, this right path card is coming into your life to say divine timing is at work because that's actually the next card with a clock. A few weeks ago, I was channeling this, I don't know if it was a biological clock or if time was literally something that you were considering. And the two of you could have a bigger soul bond than you believe. And here it says, trust in divine timing, love arrives when it's meant to. And it's gonna arrive in your lap when it's meant to. Do not force anything, don't settle either. It says dressing up, this could be for a date coming up. We have destiny, the reunion with your TF is a destined event. You could have an incoming twin flame too that you meet. And all they are is they're brought into our lives to teach us lessons. You could even be partnering up with a soulmate beyond a TF, if that's what you've been manifesting. And most of us want soulmates because they're a forever type of forever deal. And we have romance. It says, um, and I can't read it very well. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. Ooh, this is my new favorite romance. And I'm just going to put it in the viewfinder so you could see it a little bit clearer. We will have a pick a pile I think tomorrow, long distance is at the bottom of the deck. It could be a long distance thing. And let's get into it. Let's do four cards for their general energy for tonight. A pick a pile will be tomorrow and it's going to be a three pile pick a pile. Can I get four cards for their emotions tonight? We have the fool, they could be an Aries. We have the fool flipping. This person wants to go on a journey. They're very ecstatic to do so. They're also willing. And if you've met an Aries or any of the fire signs, I think here that their rucksack is packed and they're going to take a chance. I feel like if you met them as a friend, this is gonna unravel very quickly with the Fool card. Very quickly, excuse me. We have the Three of Cups. Definitely somebody wants sight. They wanna see you. They want to make arrangements where you have a three of cups and you celebrate or this person wants to be more into your life and more a part of all inclusive things that you invite them to. I think a key word here too is that you invite them out and it's something where both of you get to enjoy one another and even your presence is enjoyed. You get to talk about several things that are on your mind. That's the second card, eight of wands, gorgeous. We have communication going back and forth. What else can I can I see that eight of wands? The king of cups, somebody very compassionate, holding a cup for you and being proud of it. And this person will be able to emotively display this to others, their friends, their family, their mom and dad. <laughs> I feel here like somebody is ready to introduce you to a group because the three of cups can talk about, it's not only celebrations, but it's a group effort, it's friends. It's other people in the family. It's those types of connections that are very important. Also, they could have a shaved, I don't know, fade, like also in this photo with the tattooed man in the King of Cups. 
they might want to talk to you about that too since we clarified the eight of wands what else do we have here we have some sort of swords card the nine of swords it's causing anxiety the more they're ripped away from you this person wants to come closer sleepless nights is the nine of swords okay so if they're losing sleep over libra because libra did something what is the nine of swords we have the strength card there's something that they have to fulfill too this person has a rightful destiny just like all of us have and they're coming out of a situation where they might need your help they might need you to push them into something great for you to teach them something for you to embrace them too <laughs> excuse me for you to embrace them and i feel like it's something about them needing your help processing this time I'm getting something about someone getting a divorce too in the recent past, or they're tied to someone, which was an ex, and they might need your help. What else do we have here? We have the Six of Wands and we have the Hierophant. Beautiful. Six of Wands is victories. The Hierophant is telling you that you are commitment material and they view you as a person who's highly spiritual. Also, it's a marriages and commitment card. They want victory and a commitment with you. And this person is not going to stop until they get it. So what is the Hierophant in their eyes? The moon. They're not telling you about that, that they view you as committal energy. New person definitely sees you as the Hierophant. It's been around too much for today's readings. Why are they keeping this a secret? What's going on here? We have the Eight of Cups. This person's walking away currently from things of their past. Again, I mentioned a relationship before that they're walking away from, Eight of Cups. So what this tells me is they're trying to get rid of those things before they deal with you in a positive way. And they want to let go of it in a way where it's timely on their end. You know, they're not rushing anything and they're able to see it for what it was. Eight of Cups. How is Libra going to approach this? Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You might have other options too. You might have different ways of dealing with this because you have a, I don't know, like a toolbox here that you use. The Queen of Wands is also structurally knowing where to go, listening to your North Node and your calling. A lot of you have a different purpose than this person that you're involved with. You're realizing that through this, you have a variance and a variety to you. The Seven of Cups is variety and it's having difference and it's also being able to play with your variety. The Queen of Wands is going to maintain being attractive and including so many things to do in your life. Many of you could have contained a new regimen um, and I feel like this is very, very good because these options now are formulating in your life as I do them, I practice it, it's also in my 3D and I'm also receiving rewards from that. I get here heavily that you've jumped a timeline or you've overcome something. You've gone into a whole new timeline where you've crossed paths with this King of Wands or this Emperor that we have in our readings. What is the likely conclusion? King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Both readings had them as a pair. And I don't know if you guys are like picking up on synchronicities as I go, but we have KOW and QOW. They are a divine pair. Whether you are one of these cards down to your persona or your personality, there's a divine pair that wants to come in during the new moon in Gemini features and also thereafter. I feel like this is the lucky thing that brings two people together finally. And they could start off being a coworker, a friend, and some of you already know a king of wands that you've been talking to and it's been an association. The likely outcome is the King of Pentacles taking care of you, the Three of Coins, and the High Priestess. Okay, and I'll show you too, I have the King of Pentacles. I think here and the bottom of the deck also is the Star card, Aquarius. We have someone who wants to also be a High Priestess with you. I think they want to learn some of your secrets and they want to get to know that deeper. However you're willing to share, however it comes out too. And they want to work with you. Basic working card, right? Three of Pentacles begins the work relationship. And there's something here that they know about you too. 
they've seen you down to your core. They appreciate that high priestess within you. It's very, very powerful because I feel like this is coming in almost like a crone spirit with an N. And this king of coins wants to facilitate some of those things or even create projects with you. They can actually have foresight in that, this king of pentacles. And that's how I read. Um, this is how I finished the second reading. It's been a long day, Libras, excuse me. If this resonated, the cards were very repetitious. And I'm pretty sure you caught it. All of the nice little divine pairings that we had tonight. They are definitely in love with a current Queen of Wands. If you're a Divine Feminine, it could be an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is prevalent, a Taurus. We have Leo in the Strength card, Leo again in the Sun, and then High Priestess is Pisces. Thank you guys so much. Um, video went into for your pleasure tonight.